Nike Pegasus 37 was one of my favorite shoes of the year, but was it the best? Today let's explore the best running shoes of 2020. Hey, what's poppin'? Jordan Thomas here. 2020 is the year that I've tried on the most running shoes since my time working in a sneaker store during the time when I was in high school and in college. So this year I tried over 12 different pairs of shoes that were released in 2020. I wanna go over the five that I felt were the best. As far as criteria, I'm gonna keep it really simple, just like how I do my reviews. It's gonna be about design, it's gonna be about the fit, and it's gonna be about the overall performance. So I've been doing this across five different categories, and then we'll have a wrap up overall winner. So let's jump into it. Let's begin with the shoe that I think a number of us have in common, which is the best daily trainer. And so this shoe is gonna be the one that you use for the majority of your overall workouts. And so my winner in this category is going to be the Nike Pegasus 37. This for me has been the most reliable shoe throughout the entire year. Although it was released in May, for the last six months or so, this is the shoe that I've put the most miles in. I'm on my second pair. This is the first pair that I purchased. I'm already up to about 300 miles in these and they're still going. I picked up a second pair, put together another like 200 miles in those as well. Just a very reliable shoe. Everything from a person training from the 100 meters to the marathon can find something to love about this shoe. Particularly the fit for me is something that really stood out as well as the overall outsole continues to deliver. I appreciate the update by using React Foam throughout the overall shoe. And with increasing the toe box just a little bit, I think this allows for more types of runners foot widths to be able to fit in this shoe. For my race day option, I went back and forth about this one a little bit, but at the end of the day, the Nike Alpha Fly for me is the best race shoe option available for a lot of us. I think that where I've gone back and forth about the overall fit, particularly because of these AirPods, and I think about just what was released during this year and of the shoes that I've tried, this for me was the shoe that I picked up if I decided that I wanted to go as fast as I possibly could, with the exception of putting on a racing spike. This shoe spares no expense in terms of being not only just a luxury uh, type of item to pick up far as a shoe, but the Alpha Fly upper, the inclusion of the air bubbles along with Zoom X, you got the carbon plate in here, super lightweight. This is the shoe that I would use, particularly for like a 5K through like a half marathon. I do still think I would have some difficulty being able to hold the form necessary to run a marathon in these, but if you're looking for a very fast race day option, this is the one that I would pick up. Now, when it comes to just a general speed day, so something where I'm doing something like tempo or I'm gonna be doing like mile interval type pace. This shoe surprised me. I did a lot of social media behind this shoe and I still don't think it got the views that it deserved, but my shoe of the year when it comes to speed is going to be the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. This shoe really caught me off guard. Uh, I like the overall design in terms of the way the upper definitely looks like something going into like hyperspeed. The fact that they're using nitrogen in the midsole, there is no plate. Um, the outsole has, has shown to be pretty durable. I've been beating them up uh, plenty. The fit is really nice. These laces are a little weak sauce, and so I, I, I still think I need to update those. But this has just been a fantastic shoe for me. And so for the workouts where I'm trying to go fast, this is the shoe that I pick up. Now, in the max comfort category, this one is actually new to me. I had not spent a lot of time purchasing max uh, comfort shoes because just the way that I run, I didn't necessarily see the benefit in doing it, but boy, am I glad that I did. And so my winner for Max Comfort Shoe of the Year is gonna to go to the Saucony Triumph 18. This shoe has been an absolute godsend for the days, which is most days now, where I don't have necessarily a very specific goal in mind, and I just need to go put in eight, 10 miles, 90 minutes, 45 minutes, and I just want a shoe to just gonna just like do what I needed to do for the day. The Saucony Triumph 18 is definitely that. Another one of these shoes that I would put kind of in a luxury category, particularly because of the way the upper feels. As the weather has started to change and get cooler, I like that the upper feels a little bit warm. I like that they updated the outsole as well as the midsole using the Power Run Plus, and they were able to more or less like shave down what I thought looked kind of boost-like last year and to being able to do something that I felt like is very like Saucony's own. And this black colorway is pretty dope. And now for my wild card shoe, I'm gonna pick up a shoe that I know a number of people had some difficulty with, but I actually really enjoyed. And that's gonna be the Nike Tempo Next Percent. I believe that this shoe is certainly like caffeine for your feet. 
Each time that I put on this shoe, I've had a good experience. It's certainly a shoe that I would look to use when I'm looking to move a bit faster. Not really if, uh, for a specific type of workout, so just maybe a faster, easier day. Maybe I'm doing like mile repeats or I'm doing like a progressive long run. This shoe does the job. Now, one of the interesting things about this shoe is that it was supposed to be a companion uh, type of shoe for the Alpha Fly, but they came out at such different times that it was hard to kind of figure out whether or not it served the purpose. But I will say after spending some considerable miles now in this shoe, it made me understand why it was a companion to the Alpha Fly. And that's why the Alpha Fly ended up going up on my list in terms of where I thought it would rank because now I had a shoe that I could train in to get me kind of used to the overall shape of the shoe. And then when I put it on, I was like, oh yeah, this is money. So it comes in a little bit heavier. It's certainly pricey coming in at 200 bucks. But if you're just looking for a shoe that's just gonna give you a very unique feel, I would say this is the one. I've laid out the five shoes in each of the categories. The shoe for me though, that does the job better in its category than any other shoe is going to be the Nike Pegasus 37. At $120, you've got multiple colorways available. Every run, and I do mean every run I took in this shoe, just felt like this shoe was made for me. I have a narrower foot. This shoe is, a, is very accommodating to that. The addition of the React Foam was super clutch. The outsole that they updated with giving them, giving them a little bit more rubber, but while still keeping the overall waffle outsole money. Each time that I put this on, I felt like I was getting not only my money's worth, but getting somehow more than that. And that's why I'm already on my second pair and will likely be doing maybe like the Nike by you for my third pair. Those are my top five. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What's your top five? Which ones did you agree with? Which ones did you disagree with? Hey, who did I leave out that you thought that really should have been a part of the overall list? Now, if you want to dig into any one of these reviews in a bit more detail, I've got a playlist here for you. Thanks so much for watching. I've grown with you over this year. And I just want to create a place that people that look like me and people that empathize with people that look like me can have a place to kind of just come and chill. I think between the pandemic as well as the various issues that have been highlighted in the way of social justice just has taken a toll on a number of us. And so me being able to create a space where we could chill and rally around something that a number of us enjoy like running was really important to me. So I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa if you celebrate it. And I'll see you next time. Jordan Thomas. Peace.